So I went to a local establishment to pick up some takeout for the family. Now, I want to set the scene here. I didn't go into the restaurant area. I went to the kind of front vestibule area, but I'm in the building. I'm not like, like the people who are eating would be able to see me, but I'm going to this little area where you pick up takeout, but I'm entering the restaurant. I'm in the restaurant, correct? I'm dressed basically as I am now. There's a gentleman in front of me, two gentlemen in front of me picking up food. And the first one I noticed was wearing these kind of old guy sweatpants. I think he had a t-shirt on and you know sneakers. Much right. respect. Much respect. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just give uh, sometimes uh, some, some days just give up. For yeah. me it's all the time, but yeah. fair. Um, I was like, all right, well, he's not going to eat in the restaurant. He was getting takeout as well. But for a second, I thought he was waiting in line to get a seat. But his friend next to him had the brown ones, those on. Those are slippers. Those are not shoes. Those are slippers, despite the bottom having a hard surface. And he was wearing basically these <laughs> pajama pants and like a kind of a zip up like Seton has. Um, what is your policy, even to go get takeout, <laughs> of dressing like you're getting ready to go to bed for the night. I would never do it myself, <laughs> ever, I, ever. And I, what I do you guys think? think? The, the takeout is okay. It's when you show up at the airport and oh. you're traveling. And it looks like a slumber party <laughs> laying around the gate. Yeah, that, I have a little bit more of a problem. This is just a quick cameo. But you're entering the restaurant. You're entering a restaurant with slippers, scuffs, as they say, or whatever. And, I, I think and, it's a good strategy because maybe what if the food's not ready and the manager and the people don't like what you, how you dress, if that's the, that much faster they want to give you the food and get you out of there. Do you think dressing like a hobo will get the food to you? Faster? I think everybody wins. They, they, they are, you, yeah, actually, you win twice if you're dressed like that. You're very comfortable. Would you go pick up food with that, Ozan? Oh, sure. I, I, I've, I've picked up food with sweats on. <laughs> Andrew, you're, you're very comfortable and they're like, get them yeah, the food. Probably. We can't have Andrew, it. you're a sweatpant guy, but you wouldn't wear these sweatpants, uh, I don't think, would you? I wouldn't even hesitate. By the way, I think Dan, those plaid pants, I think Dan wore them on the show. About three weeks I, ago. It's a yeah. sports radio and TV show. I think I and have. It's his show. Yeah, yeah. yeah He's I, not entering a public domain. Yeah, I have no problem. I, I don't even understand why people don't wear those more. They're awesome. Those look like $200 pajama well, boxes. Let me ask you this. Should someone in management, is it that embarrassing or wrong that should someone say, can you, you mind waiting outside? No. I will bring you the food because you can't say be that. walking. They're not going to lose this. Seton, you've been quiet. You know, I would never do it personally, but I, I, here's the thing. I feel like the war that you're fighting is lost. You already lost it. You can, you can keep holding on, that ship has sailed. Especially that people wear their pajamas 24 hours a day. You yeah. can't blame a pandemic for not I, being able I, to put I on understand. a pair of pants. Like there's I'm nothing- call it a pant- pant oh, pandemic. Oh, there you go. Oh, I think he just left, he left. Yeah, out of here. See you guys, my Catch you Monday, buddy.